everyone here goes shopping. You see amazing products in ads online or just leafing through a catalog. These carefully styled images that you see make you want to buy that new chair, bed, or even this hoverboard. Seems easy enough, right? Getting these images is not as simple as it looks. A single product image requires an extensive planning and execution that goes like this. You produce the product, you pack it up, you ship it across the ocean, you look for a shooting site, you work out a shooting plan, the executive team approves the plan, you assemble the shooting crew, you build up your scenes, and then you take your photographs. And this happens for every single photo that you see. So what if, instead of this, you could just simply sign into a web app and start creating your images inside the browser? Introducing color mass. All you have to do is upload your production files to the web app and send your physical material samples by post, and you can start creating your images. Let me show you what I mean. First, let me introduce you to the model section of the platform. Here you can see all uh, the forms that were created based on the production files that you uploaded. Uh, and on this page, you can find the ones that were already processed by the platform. The material section is where you can find all your finishes and fabrics uh, that were created based on the physical sample that you shipped to us. And they are displayed on a sphere, so you get a better feeling how they really look. So since we have both models and materials finished, we can go ahead and create some images. The images section is divided into projects and set so that you can better organize your work. So let's go ahead and click on a set and let's create our next image. So the first thing that we want to do, we want to select the product which we want to shoot. Once the product is loaded, you can select individual elements and assign materials to them. And once you found the perfect variation for your next shoot, you can also change settings like resolution and page orientation or focal length. Once you are done with the settings, you can look for the perfect angle for your next shot. Once you've found the angle, you just hit generate and voila, now you have an image that you can put on your website or in your catalog. And you had zero experience in 3D, and now you created an image that only a 3D artist with five plus years of experience could before. As for the market, commercial photography is a very fragmented industry that has no dominant player. As it turns out, a photographer can only be in one place at a time. This means it is nearly impossible to scale their processes. Software, however, can be everywhere. This means that we can now scale a business that was not scalable before. Up until today, we've worked on a private beta application with a few selected customers, among which we are happy to have one of the largest retailers in the United Kingdom and one of the most well-known brands in Germany. And interestingly, these early customers completely shifted their photography production to our platform. Not only that, they also started to change the way they work. Previously, they were producing images every three or four months, and now they are creating images almost daily. Because these customers are no longer limited by the old way of photo shoots. They no longer have to think about when the product is going to be ready. They no longer have to think about what they can squeeze into 12 photographs. They no longer have to think about what they will mess up if they don't plan ahead. They can just sign in and create their next image. Today, we are launching the Colormas platform. So if you are a manufacturer or a retailer, sign up for our beta list and start creating your images without a camera. Thank you.
All right, judges, here's the first question. Where do the models come from? Sorry? The models, it seems like a lot of it's dependent on having sufficiently large numbers of models to be representative of the sort of scene that you want to be uh, constructing for, so where, where do all the models come from? Right, so um, how the models are created, I'm not sure if that's what you are referring yeah. to. Um, the manufacturers upload their production files, um, and after some uh, cleaning and uh, processing, um, they go to the page that you've seen before, so they appear in the process. So we're talking like a CAD file? Something yes, like that. exactly. So it's basically for furniture, for the most part, are there other, other types of uh, retailers that you would appeal to? Yeah, so the, our uh, initial market is, is the furniture industry, uh, but later on, so once we um, kind of conquered the market or, or figured out how, how it all should work, we also want to um, explore other markets. So basically any tangible product um, that needs imaging uh, is where we also want to introduce uh, our platform. In the um, example, you, you focused on kind of the ability to take a particular product image and change it up, but then you showed some lifestyle photos. Yes. Is, how, how does that work? Yes. I mean, right now, uh, we just uh, provide the... Uh, so, th so there are two types of images, the wide background images, so the cutout images yep. and the lifestyle images. And right now, uh, the functionality on the pl platform is only for the wide background images. Okay. And later on, uh, so in the coming uh, two or three months, we want to introduce the lifestyle uh, functionality that you can put together whole rooms and life, so the lifestyle images, basically. What's the most unique aspect of the technology? That's, you know, I mean, I think, we've, yeah. yeah. The, the, the 3D, the ability to put different products on there, to dress them. Sure. Right now, I would say the most unique thing is bringing all, together all these technologies which are needed to create these high-quality marketing images. I mean, if you w would like to create an image like this, what you saw with the current software out there, the problem is that you need 10 plus years of experience in 3D. And this is obviously not something marketing director or photographer has. So um, this is what I would say that right now the most unique part, so we offer we democratize this process of creating these high quality images, giving in anyone's hands who can uh, use a web browser this power of 10 plus years of experience of a 3D artist. But um, to be honest, like a bit longer term, we think that the most unique part will be uh, building up a huge platform of 3D assets, including models and materials. Um, so, I mean, if you imagine, like when we started out, we were doing like, I mean, we got a lot of requests for uh, creating some walkthroughs for real estate, for creating configurators for AR, VR. And we specifically picked photos because what we figured out is that, I mean, everybody's very interested about these um, technologies, AR, VR, but like, for example, in the furniture industry, they don't know how to use it. Like, they come to us, say, okay, they would like to see their products in 3D, but they don't have the processes in place and don't have the budgets and don't know what to do with it. And then we said, okay, what about images? If we sell them images, they know what an image is. They have a budget for an image. They know how to print it, how to put it online. And in the process of creating high quality images for these manufacturers, um, we can work on all the technologies which are necessary for the digitization. And we can build up a platform of 3D assets. So in the longer term, we can offer this platform so anyone, I mean, Actually, this um, app, so you can create photographs based on this 3D data, becomes one, one app of the platform. And then you can imagine that this 3D platform, we offer an API, and you can create AR apps, VR apps. You can create an app where someone puts the furniture in his own home. So I think long term, this is the biggest value what we will create, like a huge library of 3D assets where a lot of products are digitized inside. Yeah, because if I can add one thing is that in AR or VR, um, when somebody wants to create an application, he or she has to have a lot of uh, experience in 3D. And what we would like to do in the long term, that people without experience in 3D, so basically writing a VR or AR app would be as easy as writing a website, so that you don't need extra um, knowledge in 3D uh, to create a create VR or AR app. 
So what's your, um, what's your cost advantage over the way that they do it now? So IKEA has a team of 60 people and they go through and take their, their CAD and they bring it in and they render it themselves, texturize it themselves, and then drop it into their catalog. So how, how, would that, how much would that cost them versus how much it would cost to do it with you? Uh, you mean how we compare with uh, IKEA? Yeah, oh, no, not IKEA oh. specifically. Any manufacturer that you're targeting to right. offer this that may not have an in-house team or has an in-house team or has an external team that they're paying. Yes, I mean, so uh, building up these technologies is the, is the so, so what's necessary to uh, bring it to a level where, where everybody who doesn't have a three, doesn't have a lot of 3D experience um, could create an image that looks exactly like a photo. Uh, so developing these technologies is the biggest cost. Uh, and so I, I think companies uh, so our customers, it, it would be very expensive for them to develop uh, not, not just the assets, but the technology inside the company uh, to be able to create photos like this. But are you a, uh, how do you charge them? Will you use a licensing model? Is it a per item? What is it? How is it? So right now we charge uh, what you saw before. There are models, materials, and images. Mm, so right now we charge for uh, digitizing both models and materials and then also for the images. Um, and the one-time costs are the models and the materials because you just have to digitize them once. Uh, and the images are the recurring uh, uh, revenues. And in the long term, we are planning to uh, drop both the model digitization and the material digitization fee and just stick with the image fee because it also encourages our customers to create more images because they can freely upload any kind of assets and they can just go inside and, and, and freely uh, create any image that they uh, can think about. Is there a way you can give me some sort of dollar amount? Like if I wanted to digitize a chair? Sorry? If I wanted one image of a chair, how much would it cost me? One image of a chair? Yeah. Um, so right now, uh, for the for the digitization of the model, uh, it costs around uh, 200 euros, uh, and the materials. Uh, that also dip, dip, right now it's a bit dependent on the material, but around two uh, 300 uh, euros, and then the image itself costs uh, 50 euros. Okay, yeah. thank you. Other questions? Are we good? All right, one more round of applause for Color Mask.